Dental implants were invented, eventually invented in 1982 by a Swedish professor. And since then, implants have become the gold standard in dentistry. And we've been doing them here since 1992. We have a good track record and we have a very, very high success rate. In the old days when we lost a tooth, you had to have a bridge made up and this model shows a bridge. Now a bridge are two teeth joined together with a false one in the middle. I always explain the teeth are like piano keys and they work independently of each other. So if you have them joined together, then there's massive forces building up in that. So someone wanted to make it independent, so nowadays we put an implant in the jawbone. And then we put a tooth on the implant and then it is totally separate. It is not attached to the tooth on each side. You can floss it, you can clean it, and it feels like a normal tooth. And you can go from a single tooth implant to cases now where we put four implants in or five and we can completely restore your upper teeth or completely restore your lower teeth and give you a complete new set of teeth supported by four or five implants. The other big issue we have in our society uh, is the lower denture. The lower denture always moves when the patient lifts their tongue. Nowadays, if you can't afford to get four implants put in and a complicated framework made up, you can get two implants put in and you can have a denture that clips in and clips out, which means patients now can have better diets. Instead of having soft, mushy, high carbohydrate diets, they can now have diets that have got fiber, nuts, fruit, and a good old fashioned steak. There's been lots of serious studies to show that people's self-confidence, both socially and at intimate times of their life, improves dramatically when their dentures are fixed in their mouths. So by retaining a denture with implants, you can be sure that your denture will stay in the right spot at the right time.